What's up guys, this is Ardik here and finally, finally the CM14.1 ROM has been landed on a couple of devices. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get that on your Nexus 6P. Also I'll be linking the supported devices in the description below so do check the description out as well. But yeah, today we'll be flashing it on our 6P so let's begin. So first of all go into your recovery so for that power off a device and press and hold volume down and power button at the same time and release once over here. So once here just uh, hit your power down and go to recovery mode. I'm having a TWRP recovery uh, and also make sure that you're on the latest one of the TWRP recovery. So yeah. So once into TWRP recovery just make sure that you back up all your data and previous ROM that you have. So once everything's done just go to wipe. Go to advanced wipe. Uh, wipe the Dalvik art cache system data and cache. Do not wipe the internal storage because that's where you have the ROM and the GApps. So swipe to wipe. So once your device is completely wiped, just go to your home, go into install and go to the folder that you have the ROM stored on. So it's in downloads. Then search for CM14.1 nightly. There you can see it says Angular. So Angular is the code name given to 6P. So that's there. Just hit on that and swipe to install the ROM. And then just wait until it's done. Once the ROM is flashed, just go back. And also flash the G app. So I have the open G app 64-bit uh, 7.1 nano. So I'll be flashing that and swipe to confirm flash. And again wait for it until it's done. So here I'm flashing the nano G app, but you can flash any G apps that you want. And also I'll be providing the link to the ROM file and the G apps in the description below. So do check the description out again as well. But yeah, just wait until it's done as well. So yeah. Okay, so the boot took way, way longer than what I expected. It took around 10 to 15 minutes to boot up, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the message that it's popping here is because I think it's because of the vendor image. I didn't flash the vendor image, uh, but yeah, I'll be also linking the vendor image in the description if I find it. So yeah, again, check the description out. But yes, let's begin with the setup. Okay, let's see next. Let me just connect to my Wi-Fi real quick and I'll be back. And I'll just be skipping through all of this because I don't want to do any of this right now. Okay, I don't know what the issue is right now. But it's not lit. Okay, there we go. I'll be skipping this for now, uh, but yeah, skip, next, skip, okay, for no reason, this is like popping up and it's, it's way too irritating right now. Okay, I'll just, I'll just add my account and I'll be right back. Account is up and running, there we go, next, uh, I'll just skip the fingerprint thing real quick next next and start got it so as you can see we are in the cm 14.1 right now we just quickly go into the settings and just check the build number and stuff so scroll down feel smooth for now but i will just check it out real quick so as you can see android version 7.1 nougat over here and there we go so for now it feels like really really smooth, no pixel launcher included or nexus launcher included. Let us check the assistant, okay, it's it's not the assistant here, uh, but yeah, I will be enabling that later. So let us see what all apps are included here. So yeah, the normal browser and stuff, camera, the gallery, screen record and stuff. So let us hop into settings and let us see what all new features we have in this room. So yeah, there we go. We have the Nougat uh, settings over here, which will basically tell us the status. What is like, for example, Wi-Fi, it's connected to Hardik. That's my Wi-Fi. Due to the disable right now. If you go to more, as you can see, uh, we have tap and pay. Well, that's something new, uh, but we don't have it in India. So 
Also, as you can see, the toggles are like a bit different. So if I just turn it on, as you can see, it just turns green and nothing much. And off, it goes dark black. So that's there. If you go back, if you go into display, uh, we just turn this off real quick. If you go down, I don't see no night light over here. So that's the new feature in 7.1 or the Pixel device basically. But it has the VR mode over here. Notification light. Let us enable that real quick. There we go. Uh, also the battery light, light is enabled and stuff so that's in the display also this is not like the full review of the ROM I'm just going through the ROM I'll be reviewing this ROM later but yeah we'll be checking out basically what all things we have here uh, so storage and stuff sound apps memory as you can see you have this uh, also you can choose what all apps that boot up while you start the when you start the phone basically so you can like disable few apps that you don't want uh, to be enabled in the boot so you can just do that if you go into buttons as you can see uh, you can change the button layout uh, we had this feature in the 7.1.1 which was hidden basically uh, but yeah it's it's uh, here if you go back you can see we can set the home button, you can set the power menu and stuff. Also the volume buttons, we can set different tasks for different buttons basically. If you go down here, everything's, everything seems normal basically. Uh, then system UI tuner is enabled by default. Uh, nothing much here. Status bar, we can customize it as per our wish. So if you want our battery cycle to be something something. So also you can enable the uh, battery percent icon over here quick pull down is from right so if you pull down from right it will display the quick toggles and if we slide from left it will just display the notification thing so yeah that's that's pretty neat also if you go back real quick uh, we'll just enable the developer option real quick it's enable and let's see what all we get over here so development tools and stuff uh, let's see if we have the display dpi thing over here also we check the display real quick uh, let's see if we can change the display size there we go we have the display size over here as well so you could toggle that to small default and stuff uh, but as you can see there are tons of uh, things over here like small smaller smallest so you can do that as well oh my god it basically gives us a tablet thing view basically as you can see that's that's like too small but yeah for now that's been it guys thank you for this video uh it was like a quick real impressions of the cm 14.1 on an Nexus 6p and also as i said i'll be linking the supported devices in the description below so do check the description out as well uh i'll be reviewing this rom basically as i said but it won't be or it could be a video like this but i'm not sure because my PC is off right now and I have to edit this on my laptop which like <laughs> should take basically 3 hours to do uh, but yeah I'll be updating uh, the CM14.1 within like 2, two to 3 weeks or so but yeah for now that's been it guys thanks for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you guys in my next one